Six weeks in exile. Exile deposed by the mandarins, the horrible people, the money bags. We have persuaded them because of grave concern by you gentlemen out there and ladies to start coughing up the money. Give us the ackers and bring back Mick Wall from where he has been hiding. Lost somewhere in Europe, somewhere travelling around the highways and byways of time. But I can't permission of his mother and his dentist. Mr. Mick Wall. <laughs> Mr. Mick Wall. Hello, rockers. Uh, no, hello, rockers. No, hello, rockers. Got it right. Hello, rockers. Welcome to the Monster Rock Show. This is Bruce Dickinson, as if you didn't know. It's been a long time. Been a long time, been a long He's time. He's still been as short long... as he ever was. He hasn't grown in six weeks, have you? This is the... <laughs> this so is the... where have you been? Show me where's your suitcase. Look, look, this is where this. I've been, and this is where they wouldn't let look me this. into. All look these this. places. Look at that. France, German... Oh, undesirable alien. What do you have to say next? We say this first video is... Wrong! What do you have to say next? <laughs> Wrong! Look! Read it! This next video is by ACDC, and it's called... Let there be rock! Right! Let there be rock, and why not? Well, mind you, there hasn't been much rock for the last six or eight weeks, or far too long, anyway, I can't remember. Anyway, I'm back, and not only in my back, but I've got my good mate with me, the bird, and his good mate, Bruce. Hello. Hello, Bruce. Hello there. So what have you been <laughs> doing? Well, uh, the last eight weeks while I've been off the Emmy, nothing to watch. What have you been doing for your rock and roll at home? Um, no, I go to festivals, things like that. Donnington. I saw you wandering around at Donnington. In fact, mm -hmm. right at the very end of Donnington, you got up oh, on, yes, you yes, got up on stage, yes, didn't you? Yes, yes, we had to sing, what was it, we're an American band, which of course I'm not. No, you didn't sing that though, did oh, I you? I sang, I'm an English man. Which, which you would. Yeah, I don't know how popular that made me with the indigenous population of uh, the stage at the time, but never mind. The people liked it, because they were of course all English, most well, of them. Well, it was, yeah, but it was all American bands on the bill, wasn't it? Yeah, it was indeed. A great shame. Yeah. I mean, not I have anything against, you know, our chaps and brethren from across the water, but it would have been nice to see an English band at Donington. All right, I tell you what, to make up for that, why don't we see an English band on the video right now? Mm hmm And let's have... Who may they be? Let's Who have that be? Iron Maiden and a trooper and my favourite rock and roll band in the world, and that was... Who was that? That was um, Ron Maiden and the Dixie Chickens. Ron Maiden and the Dixie Chickens and a very big favourite on this show. Right, John? Yes, John. OK. How are you, John? Nah, 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 go. Bruce. Bruce. Now, I know... That's my bird. <laughs> I'm John. <laughs> John, you and your bird, of course, are known for doing long world tours. That's right. And all that stuff. Yes. Well, I'm not going to ask you about that because we, we've talked about we've done all that, that stuff in yes. the past. It's boring. What do you do when you go on your holidays, though? I mean, you well, know. I, I tend to take sort of uh, busman's holidays. I mean, you, everybody knows all about this fencing thing that I do. So this year I went off and uh, went to sell the world championships in Lausanne uh -huh. and took out a second mortgage to get a hamburger because it's quite <laughs> expensive in Switzerland. <laughs> and uh, then, let me think, what else did we do? I've written a book. We could talk about that a bit, uh, but, but we haven't got a publisher for it yet. Uh, it's a comedy, black comedy. And we've been writing some songs and stuff, and, um... But apart from all that, nothing really terribly sort of unusual or weird or... No, not really. I mean, uh, all that stuff about, you know, like on the Number of the Beast album, about, you know, sort of weird spells and stuff, you know, I mean, it was like, uh, we're... you better play the next video, Mick. Hang on, hang on. I think I see a space shuttle coming. That's right. Number of the Beast. Number ah! of the Beast. Ah! Oh, it's finished now, it's finished. My mates, Brian and Maiden. Is that their names? No, he's Brian. Oh, sorry, Brian. I'm I'll, Maiden. I do beg your pardon, Brian. Now, I'm going to review... Well, we're both going to review a couple of albums. I'm going to give this Twisted Sister album to Bruce, who I'm going to, is going to listen to this or look at it during the break and then tell us all about it afterwards. Meantime, I'm going to tell you about this brand new Dio album called Dream Evil, the fourth studio Dio album and mighty good it is too. Does it sound like the rest? That's the first question everybody asks me. Of course it sounds like the rest. With one exception, they've got a new guitarist who, <laughs> who sounds rather Blackmore-esque. If you say that to Ronnie Dio, of course, he doesn't agree, not entirely. But we'll have him on the show another day and he'll tell us all about it and I'll stop talking about it. Very good album, Dio fans everywhere will love it. And if you're not a Dio fan, you might even love it anyway, because it's their best album yet. I'm off now. This is the brand new Dio video and this is called I Could Have Been a Dreamer. Hello, well, we're back again with my mate Bruce Dickinson here, who is now going to talk and say wonderful words, I'm sure, about the Twisted Sister album. You've got a funny shaped head there, Mick. No, I always wear this for singing about wizards and dragons. with that shape under the hat, you know. <laughs> he takes it off, it's just like a huge, you know, Pope John. Well, I've been playing this album here on my, uh, you know, this is the only thing I could afford in this place, unfortunately. Unfortunately, the, the needle's a bit broken on it, so it's not... So who am I looking at? I'm looking over it. Hello, how you doing? All right. Um, 
this is a Twisted Sister album, and it's called Love Is For Suckers, which I can only assume is a play on words, um, but uh, we won't go into that now. It's got lots of things on it. It's got first album, first side, side one is called Wake Up, so it's probably a good one to play in the mornings. Um, Hot Love, which is the, um, I assume, the forthcoming single, which we will see in a minute, which I haven't seen. Uh, Love Is For Suckers, which um, must be a play on words. I'm So Hot For You, which... I don't know, it could be something about cooking, I'm not sure. Tonight, Me and the Boys, um, so I'm not sure what that one's about. One Bad Habit, which are probably religious. Um, I Want This Night, in brackets, to last forever. Um, Dracula, I suppose. Yes, 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 get on with I it, need. get on with it. Yeah, well, the last one's called Yeah, Right, you know. <laughs> and so the point is, does it pass the acid test? Which is, will it successfully knock off Mick Ward's head? Of course it will. Like a frisbee. And of it course does. it will. Love is for suckers, Twister Sister. He's a nice bloke, actually. Uh, so um, you should maybe give it a listen before you buy it. If you're a Twister Sister sister fan, you'd probably love it. My record player's broken, so the bird can go as well. You see, a totally comprehensive review done in all seriousness. This is what we need on this show. Let's have a look at that video now. It's Twisted Sister and Hot Love. Twisty Sister, their brand new single oh, called Hot dear. Love from the album Love Is For Suckers. See that lollipop at the end? I, I wasn't looking actually. Yeah, and I, the, the woman washing the car with the soap suds cascading all over her bonnet. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Wonderful, wonderful sight. I'll tell you what, one of the, the interesting things about being away so long, if there is anything interesting about being away so long, is that there's always brand new videos I've been looking at since I came back. Oh, yeah. Good ones as well. Have you seen any good new rock videos lately? Uh, no, but that's. <laughs> But I mean, I watch Thomas the Tank Engine friends and stuff like that. I mean, yes, we Stingray, all do that. Don't Stingray give it away. You don't give it away. Zorro and stuff like that. Dum, da, dum, da, dum, da, dum, da, dum, dum, we have stuff, actually got know. a brand new video by one of my favourite bands called yes. Wasp. Don't know if you've heard of them. Good band. You should check. They're them out. very tall. Very tall, in fact. Very yeah. tall indeed. Almost as tall as me when I'm wearing, you know, my boots. That's right. Stilts. That's right. That's right. This is a track from. In fact, this is a track they recorded for the new Ghoulies Two film. That's right. This track is all about Ghoulies. In fact, so, it could be said this is a lot of ghoulies this is a with black ghoulies, ghoulies with Blackie Lawless. Right. Blackie Lawless is ghoulies. All right, wasp and scream until you like it. We couldn't think of anything else to do there, could we, Mick? Really stupid link. What's the next video? What's the next video? Oh, it's Death Leopard. Animal, isn't it? Animal. All right. That's a good link. Oh, yeah. that, that was Death Leopard and their brand new single, Animal. In fact, their brand new world tour, their first for three years, kicks off tonight in Dublin. In fact, as we speak, the show's probably over. I wonder how it went. Enough of that. Let's get into the next video. This is by an old friend of ours called Ace Freely. He used to be in Kiss. He'll be talking to on the show next week. Not Ace, that is, but his old mate's Kiss. And this is called Into the Night. And his mate here, Bruce Dickinson. Hello. Who's, who's going <laughs> to... Never guess what, what song's next. I haven't got the faintest idea. It's the only thing we could think of for this link, wasn't it? I know. In <laughs> fact, bye it, bye. it must also be about that time. It must so... be nearly... Look, it must be nearly... What? Two minutes to six. <laughs> Five. While we're on the subject of time, of course, don't forget the show is back. 11.15 every Thursday night. Don't miss it. See you at Donington next year. Where am I? Over there. See you at Donington next year somewhere. Perhaps. Might even be doing a bit of singing. One never... Oh, 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 say no more, say no more. Let's get out. Let's get out. I've had enough of this. <laughs>